Today we're going to talk about how to make a very simplistic lyric video for a song. Uh, I like to do it to Christian music basically for two reasons. One, that's primarily the type of music that I enjoy listening to. The second reason is because they are Christian artists, they're way more tolerant with you using their material. So normally you taking one of their uh, songs, one of the audio from one of their songs, and posting it with just the lyrics on there, I've never really run into a problem with it. Now they still have a type of copyright on them, but they have no problem with you putting it on your website and people enjoying the song. One of my complaints, so if there's people in the Christian music industry that are out there listening to this, one of my complaints about a lot of the lyric videos that individual bands put out is the lyrics come on exactly as you guys are singing the words. It makes it very hard if not impossible for some people to sing along. So one of my goals is to make sure that the lyrics pop on the screen just a second, a split second before they actually say them so that you can sing along to every word. So I'm on a Mac, so this tutorial is going to use GarageBand primarily. I'm going to use some copyright free elements from two sites. One is called Unsplash. The other one is called, if I'm saying it correctly, Pexels. Think the word pixels, but with ease, pexels. You can go onto those sites, and I'll have the links in the description below on this video, and you can download pretty much anything from there, um, and you're, you're welcome to use it in anything you want, including, I believe, commercial projects, although double check with that one. So we bring all those elements into iMovie, we layer them up, we adjust a few layers, and I'm gonna show you how to make a very simplistic video that kind of pops and looks like it's fancier, I guess, than it really is. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope it helps you out. If you end up using it and creating a video, send me a link. All right, let's get into it. We are in GarageBand. If you can follow my cursor, I'm showing you my media. If you click on that tab, my media, you'll see some photos that I have in here. They're just stock photos from Unsplash or Pixels, Pexels, Pixels. Click it on one there so you can kind of see what it looks like. And here I'm going to import now an audio file. Because we are going to combine a movie file, a picture, and an audio file to make our own lyric video. This is the one we're going to use as a background right here. It's a kind of crumpled paper. You can see it brings it in at four seconds. This slider over here kind of makes it so you can, it's like a zoom in if you consider it. Um, and I'm dragging out now. I can drag out this still photo as long as I want it. So I'm going to try to drag it out so it's as long as our audio. Now I'm pulling our audio in. The audio goes on the bottom underneath. And you can see that I've got my photo a little bit too long compared to the audio of this song. Now this audio is just a random audio I picked off of YouTube. It's their copyright free music, so I wouldn't run into any issues using an actual um, commercial song. Now I can readjust the photo so it's about the same length as the audio. That's going to help as a base. So we've got two layers right now. We've got the audio and we've got the still image. Now I'm going into transitions and I'm putting a fade to black, which you just drag down right on the end of your file. And when the video ends, it'll have a nice fade to black at the end of it. All right, we're going back to my media, and here is the footage of a bunch of sheep on a farm. And if you notice, the clip is not that long. It's only maybe about a third the length of the audio. But there's a little technique we can use by highlighting it, going up here in the menu to time. And it's the speed. We can change it. You can change it to slow and custom. I'm going to change it to custom and go from 100%. Let's try 50. Now watch the clip. Did you see it grow? So we're basically doing a time lapse. We're slowing down the video, which makes it longer. So we're going to keep adjusting in a couple ways here so we can try to get it the same length as the audio. 40 is still too short. 30 is a little bit too long. A little too long. 34. Oh, that's, that's looking pretty close. Oh, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. I need to go up a hair. So we're going to leave it at about 33. And now we can drag out the photo. 
and we'll just kind of match them all up so they're all um, fairly even. There's our three layers. We've got our video, our still image, and our audio. Now we're going to highlight the movie clip, and if we go back up and we click on that first box, it's going to let us change the opacity of the movie. This is where we're going to make the paper. There's the paper all the way. Because we put the opacity down to zero, now I'm bringing it up. It's probably around 70, and you can see as I play around. And you can just do it by eye, see what looks the best. Basically, I want the video to just slightly show through the paper so it's a little more interesting than just having a solid uh, paper background. Now we're going to title. We're going to throw in just a few text verses on here so we can see the final layer. This will be our fourth layer, the layer that's going to be on the top. And this is our text. These are our lyrics to the song. If you double click that, you can go in and then type uh, whatever the lyrics are. We can go and choose a font, and you can play around with this. I try to go with something um, that's fairly bold. You can also change the color right here. There's the option to bold it, to italicize it, or put an outline on it. I'm going to go with no outline right here. A fairly big, bold. I usually use all caps. I think it's just easier to read throwing a little text in here from a song that I like by Matt Marr. There's a light in the darkness. Now I can move it around on my timeline wherever that lyric starts. Ultimately, you want it to pop on the screen right before they say it so that people can sing along. One of my pet peeves is when the lyric videos start as they're singing it and you really can't sing along. So make sure you start the lyrics before they actually say it. So now we'll put in some more lyrics. And you can see I have it. I had it highlighted. It's at four seconds, those clips. And you can copy and paste those individual text clips and then just change the text on them like you would in any other program. We've got a few verses there. Now we're going to play it. And you can see it popping up, and it'll fade out. Now we can move them around. You can also move the length of them. If you want it more than four seconds, you can drag the end and make it as long as you'd want. We're going to go up and we're going to change to one more different effect, lyric effect or text effect. This is the title of that Matt Marr song in the burning heart of God. I'm going to type that in there and now we'll play it so you can see what that looks like. Slide it a little closer to the other ones. Dragging it out, making it a little bit longer. And now let's play through. And you do this for the whole video. So you've got all the lyrics in there from the beginning to the end. See that little effect on the end there? So you can really change it up. You don't have to use the exact same style for every single text block, although I think it helps with readability to maybe just have one effect in there. Now we're going to go back and we're going to change that opacity to really make this whole thing pop. I like the way that looks. That's at about 70%. If you look closely, you will see slight movement, which is the actual video clip. There it is. You can see it a little better. So you see that movement and it kind of looks like it's animated. I think it's a very simple and cool way to do a lyric video. It makes it look like you've done a lot that you're really talented when it comes to editing. But it's really just a couple layers and changing the opacity on one. And now this clip, you can see the audio fades out on its own. If you see the line, it goes down where it stops. Some songs end more abruptly, but this one doesn't. And there it fades out to black and you can end it any way you want. If you go up to the transitions menu up top, there's all different kinds of effects. See, you can also drag this little slider here, which will let you 
fade out a song that doesn't fade out on its own. Again, this one does already, but if it didn't, I could drag this little slider and fade it out on my own. And you can drag that as long as you want. The longer you drag it, the more gradual the fade out. Now we're gonna export our file by clicking there. Here you can select a couple things. You can name it. You can figure out what you wanna do, audio only or video and audio, and then the resolution. So we're gonna do high, we're gonna leave it on high. Compression, we'll leave it on faster. We're gonna change it to 720 just because it's gonna process faster for this tutorial, but we could have left it at 1080. Now I'll give it a quick name, just a test file, and we'll hit save. And if you look up in that right corner, you'll see that little clock symbol that'll show you the process. Now I just, I, I sped it up, and when the process is done, the clock disappears. And again, we can go down here and adjust our timeline so that we can select everything to delete it when we're sure we're totally done. Now, don't prematurely delete it before you watch your completed video. Sometimes I make text errors and have to go back and tweak things. And there we go. I've deleted the file so that that file is blank. And there's our project. The project kind of automatically saves, but you can also delete the entire project. You can go into the My Media tab and delete the files because even though you delete them right here, they are still in the My Media tab right there. You see me circling. See it? You can still see those files. So they take up space on your hard drive. So you might want to go in, highlight, right click on those and delete those. They'll build up over time and you'll realize as you're making videos, you've got elements from videos you did months ago on there just taking up precious computer resources. And I like to leave these backgrounds in there because I'll use them again for all different kinds of things. Now let's double click our test file. I'm on a Mac right here. And let's take a quick look and see how it looks. Again, there's no lyrics in this. It's just an audio file, copyright free from YouTube. But there's our lyrics popping in as we had them in. Now you'll see that special lyric come up. There we go, it's a nice little effect. Now I'm gonna fast forward to the end here real quick so we can just see that fade out. Here's the end of the music and it should fade to black. And there you go, I hope you liked that video. It was short and sweet and to the point. If you like us, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you soon.